The Google Ad Editor is free to download from the Google website. You just click this button. Once the Ad Editor is installed, you need to add your account. So I'm just going to add an account. Now the account is connected, we need to download the information into the Ad Editor. If we go to Account and then Open, it will, the Ad Editor will then download the account which is connected and it's going to download all the campaigns. So this may take some time. Once the account data has been da downloaded, you'll be able to see a snapshot of the performance from the home page. That's on the overview page in this menu here. You can see we have a graph of the performance here. We have a table here of the account data. Here is a table of errors and warnings that need to be fixed. If you click on view all, you can see all the different accounts which have problems, and then you can go in and change those accounts. If we want to make changes in bulk, we can select campaigns in the left-hand side, and then we can select details of those campaigns down here under this manage menu. So if we look, click campaigns, we can see the campaigns which have been selected on the left-hand side here. And if we select all of them, we can make changes on the left-hand side. So if, for example, we wanted to change the budget, we could edit the budget and then we could change the budget to say £10 per day and that will edit the budget and then we will see that the option has been edited here. The Google Ads Editor is working offline, so if you make changes here, they won't be reflected in Google in your live Google account unless you actually post them. So we would then need to post the changes and we can post changes in selected campaigns or all campaigns. Let's choose all campaigns and then post, and that will push up the account data up to Google. And it's done. So that's a quick tour of the Google Ads Editor. As you can see, you can, you can get the kind of information you get um, within Google itself, but you can edit it online, think about what you're doing, and then post the changes when you're done. And you can also make edits in bulk, which saves time.